In this video, I'll show you step by step how to create a professional looking PowerPoint presentation for entirely free using only two things, the free version of ChatGPT and PowerPoint. At the end, I'll also tell you some limitations of this method. So let's get started. So here we have our my ChatGPT. As you can see, make sure to log in first and you can see that I'm not in my paid work plan. So this is just the free version. Then you need to ask ChatGPT to create some content for your slides. So you can do it a few different ways. If you have existing content or script, you can just paste it in. Or if you have a PDF file with all the content, you can attach it. But right now I've already hit my free limit and it, reset, it needs to reset after 8.30. So I'm just going to ask it to generate some raw content for me. As you can see, I asked it to create the content of my PowerPoint presentation. I want to make sure to specify your slides, the number of slides you want, and what the content is about, and the target of Next, you need to tell ChatGPT to use this content and create a VBA for PowerPoint. VBA stands for Visual Basic for Applications. It is a script to automate different tasks within Microsoft Office applications such as PowerPoint. So we just want it to generate the code for me to create the content. It is really easy and this is just how you do it. As you can see, this is the VBA script to put it into PowerPoint. So next, you need to open your PowerPoint. Just a random blank presentation will do. Once you get into her, just use the shortcut alternate F11. Then you will see a screen like this, which is the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications, which is the VBA. Once you are in here, really easily go to Insert, Open Module, and then paste your code here. So just copy your code and then go back to the Visual Basic VBA and paste it into here. That's it. So right now, you just need to run it. So you see a small icon here at the top called run or just click F5 on your keyboard to run it. Once you run it, it will create a PowerPoint, a new PowerPoint presentation. So right now, these are the contents and you can just change it however you want. As you can see, this is a really simple PowerPoint, but PowerPoint is really good as they just recently integrated um, AI image. So as you can see, if you click on one of the slides and go to design at the top and then click on designer at the right hand side here. As you can see, it creates different kind of design for your slide based on the content it has. It reads whatever content and then generates different kind of slide layouts, which I thought is pretty cool. See, these are all AI generated based on the content of your slides. Yeah, you can just simply choose one of them and then go to the next one. So if want, I want some more variants, just um, reset it and click it again, and then it will generate some of the different layouts for this image that you have here. As you can see, I can choose this. As you can see, you, it, it just takes so fast to create all this. You just choose the design you want and then just create a really fast presentation. But of course, you need to review, you need to check the contents to see whether it's suitable for you. So this VBA is really useful because some people want to generate weekly reports or meeting about their financial data of their business. So they do not need to keep manually creating a new slide. They just have to use VBA to automate all these tasks like extracting data from Excel and then putting it into PowerPoint. So this is one of the large use cases of VBA. But if you use ChatGPT, you do not need to learn it all again. You just need to use the text and manipulate it. But there's a really big limitation if you use this method. So once you generated your content using ChatGPT and paste it into here, and then once you click, click run, it will create a new PowerPoint presentation instead of updating the existing one. Therefore, you lose all the current designs that you have for that presentation or any updates. The reason is the script creates a new PowerPoint every time you run. So if you want to change that instead of getting a new, creating a new PowerPoint, you, of course, you need to prompt, ask ChatGPT how to do that, which takes some technical skills to do it. 
because it involves manipulating a bit of this script but I don't want to get into that because it, it, it will be a bit long but it is still possible but you still need to ask ChatGPT and be creative about it. So what I like about it is create a template really quickly so you just have to create once and then just review and change and add different designs, images into your PowerPoint and go from there without changing. So this is it. If you find this helpful, make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you want more AI digital life hack. If you want to support me, you can check out my Patreon, link down in the description, where you can also get early access to my videos. Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.